Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and to today's video and thanks for joining me today. So today I'm just going to kind of go over some palettes that are on my wish list. Palettes that I really, 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 really want. And I have been having my eye on these for a minute. Some of them are relatively new. Most of them are relatively new. Some of them have been around for a minute, but I really um, am excited to share with you kind of like my, my current palette wish list. And it it's ever evolving. Like I always see palettes that I want and I see a lot of times palettes that I talk myself out of just simply because I myself know that I don't need them but naturally I want them. So anyway, so we are gonna be talking about eyeshadow palettes today. So welcome if you're new, my name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty. I love to talk about eyeshadow palettes. It's my favorite, favorite aspect of makeup. Like hands down, I love to do eyeshadow. I love colorful eyeshadow, neutral eyeshadow. Um, indie makeup is where it's at. I really, really enjoy, um, you know, talking about eyeshadow palettes and they're just my favorite thing ever. So I have newer eyeshadow palettes in my collection, older ones. If you didn't see my recent videos, I talked about my discontinued palettes and I ranked them and that was a lot of fun. So I have a lot of older makeup in my collection. So I don't buy everything that's new, I don't get a lot of PR, and I don't have a lot of discount codes, so I just kind of sometimes work with what I got. And then I develop a wish list, you know, and sometimes I'll get the things on it and sometimes I won't. And sometimes I'll get them sooner rather than later and sometimes, oh, oh, well I still want that. And two years down the road, if it's still available, I'll get it. So anyway, welcome if you're new. Like this video, please. Subscribe if you haven't yet already. And please, I'm asking you a small favor. If you wouldn't mind, you can watch this video in the background. You don't have to watch it, you know, like this. You can just play it, um, play it at night whatever just just helps me with my watch time and it helps me other people see my channel with views and so it just really really helps my channel so if you watch this video all the way through that would be awesome thank you so much okay so let's get started first of all i want to talk about the palettes that i'm wearing on my eyes today i do not know how i feel about this eye look i kind of low-key like really really love it and i use two odin's eye palettes <laughs> so i'm living for my odin's eye palettes right now i have the two um, older Christmas palettes that were released last year, the other two are on their way, and then I have the three Halloween palettes. And I have some other Odin's Eye in my collection, but I really, really love these 16 pan palettes. And so today I used the Trick or Treat palette with the Merry Christmas palette. So the Merry Christmas Morning palette. Um, and so I used these two palettes on my eyes today. So I'm so excited and I am getting the um, the the uh, snow uh, dream palette and the reindeer palette um i think those are those are what those are called but anyway i'm getting those palettes it's going to take them a minute to get here because i am too cheap to pay for express shipping <laughs> i just am too cheap and so it's I, i'll have to wait like the full two weeks to get them but once they're here i cannot wait so anyway let's start with odin's eye okay you guys are going to be shocked at this first one because I low-key want it just because it's a 16 pound palette and they changed the format of it to represent the pans like this and I don't know if they changed the formula. Now, this is the Norns palette. Now, I decluttered this palette. I decluttered this palette a while ago. Like, I was really disappointed but Odin's Eye has come a long way since that collection and I want to say that I know that that one will be better the only thing that I'm super concerned about is that red shade in the Norns palette. Okay, so I'm going to put the palettes over here. So here's the Norns palette. I love the color story of this, but for some reason, like, I just didn't get on with it. And then that red shade burned me so bad and it made me so mad that I ultimately just decided that I didn't like the palette. But I look at it and I just can't deny that it's pretty. And I'm like, everybody loves this. What is wrong with me? Like, why do I not love this palette? And I just can't figure it out. And so, I don't know. I low-key want it. It's kind of lower down on my wish list, but like I kind of low-key like want it. So sticking with Odin's Eye, I do, and I, I wanted them when they came out and I still want them today, are the George Divine palettes. So the um, Jewels and Gems right here is kind of the dustier, cooler tones with the, like the mauves blue you know um, you know periwinkles those colors and then the stone and rock one which is with the greens and the browns and the mustards and stuff like that 
I want both of these. Now, I, Odin's Eye is literally one of my favorite brands. Like, I live for Odin's Eye. Like, I have a solid, you know, three top favorite brands. Odin's Eye, Nomad, and Blend Money. Those are my three brands. I love those brands. And so usually nine times out of 10, like I always want the Odin's Eye palettes. I'm not super interested. I was never super interested in the plant, the, um, the, um, the collabs, the collab that was the, the legendary diversity collabs with the, um, with, with Batty Bean, Lauren May Beauty, and um, Amanda. I didn't really, was they were pretty, but I was like, oh, I don't need those. I mean, I liked Lauren's the best, but I still was like, nah, I really don't think I want to, you know, I don't want to go there. But those Jordan's palettes, oh my gosh, definitely. So I passed on those, and I was thinking to myself, I said, okay. And then Angie announced, they announced Angie's palettes, and I had to get hers because I wasn't going to, and I got them. And then, of course, the Christmas palettes, and I was just like, I was sold. Now, I'm not as excited about these Christmas palettes as I was about last year's. Last year's are just top-notch, in my opinion, but still, I'm excited. So, anyway, the Yord's Divine palettes and low-key the Nord's palette. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, I'm trying to go by brand. Now, there's probably going to be some that I miss because I do know that um, Bella Beauté Bar. So, I went to go to Bella Beauté Bar. And I went to go look for the eyeshadow palettes I want because I know they're like two or three of their palettes that I want. But their site is down right now because I guess they took a break and I guess they're coming back at the end of the week before Black Friday. And I, they're probably working on getting everything stocked for Black Friday, which is great. But I do know for a fact that there are two palettes that I really, really wanted from them. One of them is a massive palette. It's the one with um and oh god i don't even know what it's called i'm gonna have to look it up but i can't look it up because it, it's the one that's the big palette with all of it's like the really romantic pinky um one with the the neutrals and the greens and the and the cooler tones i can't remember what that palette is called somebody help me if you know what palette i'm talking about that one and the strange and unusual those two palettes from bella beauté bar are the palettes that i'm like I really, really want those. So now I heard, you know, everybody's been saying to me, like all the people that I watch on YouTube, people that I consider kind of my friends from YouTube, that we don't hang out all the time. Um, some of them hang out or talk to each other more than they talk to me, which is fine, but they all know who I am. Anyway, we all know each other. So I watch all the channels and I was watching Angie's video today, you know, talking about, you know, ranking her, ranking her most recent purchases. Like she does that every month or so. And she was talking about the the formula from Bella Beauté Bar improving. And I know that Betty Jean said that they reformulated the Strange and Unusual palette, which was their last year's palette for Halloween. So I really, really want that one. And I want that big one. And I can't remember what it's called. Like, and I can't check because it's, it's, the site's down and I can't remember what it's called. I'd have to go find somebody else's video and look it up. But it's it's a beautiful palette and it's but it's massive. I don't like the size of it, but I love the quality and I love the swatches so much and I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally want that palette. So those two palettes from Bella Beauty Bar are two that I really, really want. So it's like a Smoky Roses palette or some bull crap like that, but it's one of those giant palettes. They had that one that was pastels and I wasn't like all about that one, but, um, that it was the one that was the same size. It was the really large one. That's it's like the size of the Naughty palette from BH Cosmetics. You know, if you know, if you know, you know. Okay. All right. Now this one, this one shocks even me. This one shocks even me because I am the most squeamish, scaredy cat person. Don't ever put me in a haunted house or a fright, fright night. Uh, you know. Um, heart stoppers walk through or anything like that or, or go take me to a horror movie i hate that stuff that is not my jam i don't like it but the palettes that glam light has done for this horror series that they've done are excellent and i i was like I, I don't want the Friday the 13th one. I'm not, I don't like the red and the green. I don't like, if they would have combined them, combined it and made it one palette, maybe. 
but I want that Crystal, you know, Crystal Lake palette, the 413 palette, so bad that I bet you, I bet you that I'm getting that for Black Friday because I really, really love it. It is so unique and so beautiful, and I don't know what it is, but like, you know, I was watching Angie talk about that palette in her video today, and the more I see it, the more I want it. But then, after I watched that video, so that's the Friday the 13th, this one right here. Then, I watched a short where she did a video with the um, Ghostface palette which is, you know, from Scream. Now, see, I know Friday the 13th is Jason, Freddy is Nightmare on Elm Street, and then, you know, you've got Chucky, Crazy in Love, which is one, the one that I do have. And then you've got Ghostface, which is the villain from Scream. I saw Angie's short, and then I remembered the other day I watched Heather's palette ranking video, where she talked about the Ghostface palette. She was talking about the Xenon palette, the Xenon Midi palette, and then she talked about the ghost face palette as, you know, a better alternative to that because it has some blue, you know, you know, it has some different tones in the gray. So it makes it more interesting than the, just the black and the white from the Xenon. And then I saw Angie did the short today and I was like, okay, I want that one too. I don't need that one. If I'm going to pick one of the two, it's going to be the Crystal Lake palette, the, the Friday the 13th. But I kind of low key want the, um, ghost face palette too because I do like grays I like gray blue see gray blue is my jam like if you if you know you know um I, for a long time I had that um that palette from um from Colourpop and then recently I was sent um this palette from Nomad the Ghost Town USA this is my jam over here these these shades right here boom 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 those are it for me. I live for gray and blue. Gray and blue are one of my favorite combinations. And I just like that palette. So honestly, I think I want the ghost face as well. I don't know what's gotten into me. I really don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked even to admit that. Because I just like the theming in and of itself. I, I can't stand the theming. Because I will not watch those movies. I've seen a couple of them. But I'm just like... It was one of those, you know, like um, slumber party bull crap when you were a kid. But like the the, old, the the oldest for me was the Halloween movies and the um, and the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Uh, um, uh, Ghostface was in the '90s. I was in uh, I was an adult in the '90s, so I was you know like I wasn't going to slumber parties anymore. But I never wanted to go to that. Everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna go to you guys want to go to haunted house, want to go Heartstoppers. I said, uh, no, no, thank you. I don't like being scared. I don't like blood. Like, I don't even know how I watched The Walking Dead. But I did. And I stopped watching that after eight seasons. I just got too, that just got too gross. And I, I don't know. But anyway, we're moving on. So that was Glamlight. So we've talked about, let's see. We've talked about Odinside. We've talked about Bella Beauty Bar. We've talked about Glamlight. Let us talk about the beauty that is Fantasy Cosmetica. I'm going to lose my mind over this brand. I think I will literally go bankrupt because I want every single palette. There's only one palette that they've done that I have said to myself, that is not the palette for me. And that is the Sorcerer palette. That's the one with the pinks in it. And I'm not, a, I don't like pink. If you know, you know, I'm not a fan of pink. Pink is my least favorite color to wear on my eyes. Pink followed by probably pink pink. I don't like wearing pink. I just don't like it. For some reason, you know, unless it's a really, really soft, like, ballet slipper pink or a deep, dark, like, fuchsia or something like that, but if it's a bright bubblegum pink, I'm just like, I'm all, and that does that sorcery palette. No, thank you. Okay, so listen to me now. I have two palettes from Fantasy Cosmetica as we speak. I have the Druid palette, which is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. Hands down, bye-bye, see you later. I love that palette. Okay, I love that palette. But Man Alive, you know, and I have the Bar palette, which I like okay, but not as much. I really want, and I'll put them all on the screen at the same time, the Warlock palette, the Warlock palette, the Fighter palette, and the one I want the worst is the Rogue palette. That Rogue palette, I mean, look at it. It's this deep, dark colors. Uh, yet again, those deep dark blues and those dusky colors. I'm telling you 
this brand. I, they are they are something to behold in terms of what they have to offer with the with their shimmers. Their mats are good too. I, I you know I really 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 love this brand and they're semi affordable. Nine pan palettes. I mean they're small. I just live for them. And I love the formula and I just love the brand and um, I, I noticed that they changed the they changed the packaging a little bit um, uh, on the Druid and I, I like the Druid the way it was but they changed it I like the old packaging because it had the bear on it I think this one has a bear on it too I don't know anyway Fantasy Cosmetica thank you very much thank you thank you very much okay now, now, now. Let's see. Where are we going to go now? Where are we going to go now? I don't know. Oh, probably Unearthly Cosmetics. I think we need to start with Unearthly. Because Unearthly, that damn brand, I swear to God. I don't know what they're releasing on Friday. I don't know what it is. But if I find a picture, I'll post it up here. I don't know what's in there. But they, every single palette they've released recently, recently I literally want. But none more so. None more so. Than the sorcerer's smoke that palette is one of the most beautiful palettes i've ever seen in my entire life i would use the crap out of that palette i literally would i would i mean it i don't know i just say to myself i said self you need that palette sorcerer's smoke unearthly is a little expensive it's a little bit expensive but for the most part i really really like the unearthly palettes that i do have and, you know, if I could get them on sale, you know, and I didn't have to pay a shit ton for shipping, excuse my language, then I would be fine with it. But man, I'll tell you what, that Sorcerer Smoke is everything. It, it's beautiful. Another one. And this one, it, this one, now this one's an older one. This one's an older one. And I don't think it's in stock right now. Is their leather and lace palette. That palette is so beautiful because it's just got four rows. It's got three shimmers. It's 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 a 16 pan palette. It's no, it's 12, 12 pans, and it's perfect because it's got a green row, kind of an orangey row, and kind of a burgundy row. I don't know what it is, but I really really want that palette. I really really do. And the Devour palette. Now, really, I don't know. Sometimes, like I don't I don't even know. Like, I don't even know, like, I don't even know why. Because it really looks like two separate palettes. Because you've got the greens and the burgundies and the reds and stuff like that. But I just love those colors and the artwork. Reminds me of Little Shop of Horrors. And I thought to myself, oh, I want that too. Fall Magic I kind of want, but those three, A+. plus. Sorcerer's Smoke for sure. Like, if I could get one, it's going to be the Sorcerer's Smoke. Hands down, not even a question. I'm seriously considering it. And that is all she wrote. But you know, Unearthly is like, you know, it, it, you know, it's kind of a kind of a hard brand to to wrap your brain around. I mean, it's it's a little expensive. Another expensive brand. Well, my husband just got home. Another expensive brand is Emily Rain. That Harvest Moon palette. Who sweet baby Jesus? That is a beautiful palette. I really want that palette. And last but certainly not least, I'm gonna you know tell you. And I've really thought about this. I've really thought about this. I really want the Sickly Sweet palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I really do. I didn't think I did. I don't think I need it. I definitely don't need it. I have a few Blend Bunny palettes I'm missing. I don't have the Lure palette, and I don't have, which was, which is the other one? I don't remember. But anyway, guys, those are my palettes. Those are the palettes that I want. I, I literally don't even know sometimes, like, how I keep myself under control. It's just like... Anyway, that's all she wrote. So, hope you found this fun video fun. What I, do, you, do you want any of these palettes? Are these palettes on your radar? If they are, let me know. What other palettes did I not mention that you want to get? You can leave that in the comments if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Why don't you leave me an eyeball emoji? That'd be good. Eyeball, since we're talking about eyeshadow. Okay? Thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Bora, hey, finger hearts, eye purple, you're, you're awesome and amazing, and I love you so, so much. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, go out into the world and love others as Jesus has loved you. Thank you so much for watching you guys today. I'll see you in my next video. We go back to the hospital tomorrow, so wish us luck. All right, 
Ta-ta for now. Bye.